I've made a ton of ankle pick videos on this YouTube channel. Clearly, I'm very biased, but I like to teach what I'm really good at, which is ankle picks, okay? In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about three things that I often see done wrong when people are learning ankle picks or doing ankle picks in competition. Again, and I want to preface this with something. You can finish a crappy ankle pick on a crappy wrestler, of course, but we're trying to hold the standard a little bit higher that, okay, we go against a little bit better of a guy. This is more preferable as far as like mechanically when we talk about finishing ankle pick. If your mechanics are off a little bit, you're just not going to finish. The first mistake I see is lots of people, they do a good job of uh, getting their hand to the ankle, but they leave themselves super extended. When you're extended, there's tons of different counters, slide bys, if you're doing jujitsu, triangles, whatever, etc., etc. We need to make sure that we're breaking this guy's posture as we do the ankle pick. I'm really making sure that I'm keeping lots of weight on his head as I pull the leg forward and drop the knee. Look at the difference here. It's going to be very difficult for this guy to do a slide by, a triangle, etc., etc., because I've broken his posture. Now, for the second one, we're going to take a step back a little bit. Number two, a lot of people will shoot the ankle pick without getting this part, their partner to step forward. So what I mean is maybe they do a good job of getting their head down, but now their partner's super far away and they just miss the ankle pick. A good way to avoid that is that we're really pulling that leg forward. You can do any type of pull, you can grab the wrist, you can grab the tricep, it doesn't really matter. But we want to make sure that we pull this guy forward to us. So now his foot is heavy and he's close and now we have so much more room to reach, okay? So we want to focus on pulling this guy forward. Our last point and uh, the most important point is just with our basic finishing mechanics, a lot of people try to throw the ankle pick across this guy's back. Uh, I guess an, an athletic guy, they literally might scramble away and get up and you never score. So I'm trying to throw the knee, or sorry, rather I'm trying to throw his head over his knee and get him to hit his butt. And then we'll start to come up and look to pass and finish. Those are three small details that will make a huge difference when practicing your ankle picks.